Hi, my name is John Fennell. I'm the CEO of the International Copper Association. And some of my colleagues in the industry thought I should probably explain to you what smart wiring is. Well, it's a funny name, really, um, smart wiring, because it's really an infrastructure of copper cabling throughout the house. And the, whilst the cabling isn't smart, the way that it's laid out and the functionality that it provides uh, to you um, is really quite smart. And did you know today that somewhere like 33%, uh, a third of all new homes in Australia, install uh, a wiring platform of smart wiring? And over a quarter of renovations are putting in smart wiring. So somebody's worked out that this smart wiring concept uh, makes a lot of sense uh, for them. But what is it really? You know, who's behind it and, and, and what does smart wiring really mean? Well, let me try to answer that. It was started by uh, really the whole electrical and telecommunications industry so that they could put up a infrastructure or a platform inside the home which would manage uh, and accommodate all of the technologies that we could foresee for the next 30 years. Technologies like energy management, like video conferencing, aged and assistive living, high, uh, um, high tech uh, IPTVs, etc. And so the industry got together and designed a wiring structure that could be installed by registered cablers that would make your life eat better, would enable you to telework more competently and to enjoy all of the new technologies effortlessly without having to rewire your home or to install new wireless routers, etc. And so what's it going to mean for you as you, um, as the NBN rolls out, for example? Well, think about it this way. You're sitting in your house and you've got your new high definition television all plugged in and the NBN is connected to your home. Well, you're going to have to wire to, to uh, from the NBN box on the outside of your house to that TV because it's simply wireless will not carry the signal satisfactorily. But what if you want to watch that TV or that signal elsewhere in the house? Do you have to then, uh, will wireless work? Fundamentally, no. Um, it, it will work a little bit, but basically not satisfactorily. And what if you want to start doing um, high-level video conferencing with some of your col colleagues from your computer and you want to share loads of data uh, over the same line at the same time while your kids are downloading movies. Well, with a wireless system it's not going to work terribly well, but with a smart wiring system it will handle it with ease. And what happens when the National Broadband Network starts sending not 50 megabits per second or 70 or 100 megabits but gets up to speeds like a thousand uh, megabits, in other words, a gigabit per second. Wireless isn't going to handle that, but copper wire will. In fact, copper wire has been proved up to a hundred gigabits per second. So it's working almost as well as the optic fiber on the outside in the street. And so the industry is trying to communicate how good and how sensible it is to install a smart wiring platform when you're building a new house or when you're doing your renovation. So that when the NBN comes rolling down your street, you're going to get all the benefits uh, that it has to offer without getting cross. So if you want to know more about it, just go to www.smartwiredhouse.com.au. Thank you.